Welcome back to Dreamin' Dragons. I've been gifted two beautiful cuttings here from a mate, and today I'm going to use them to answer two questions I've seen floating around the socials, including running a pen through a less considered cheat. Right here we have this splendid Shana cutting, and by cutting, it's really more of an entire branch. It's plump, it's healthy, and it's covered in plenty of new growth, and right next to it we have an awesome American Beauty, again, plumped up and ready to go. Cheers for the cutting, mate. Can never have too many of these Guatemalan varieties. With our Shana, new growth galore, bang, 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 bang. When I get a cutting like this, it's pretty tempting to leave a few on here. Branches ripping and tearing already. Happy days. Shortcut. Unfortunately, from my experience, when you have new growth drawing energy from your plant to fuel its work, you'll find it'll take longer to root. There's a greater chance of the cutting drying out, and there's a pretty good chance the new growth will be pretty ratty, spindly, and etiolated. And overall, not really worth it. So what I do is a cheeky pop, 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 pop. Bit therapeutic and better for your cutting. And better quality new growth down the track too. Easy. This leads to question two. Is there any benefit in cutting all the nodes or spikes from your cutting or vertical part of your dragon? Bar one or two to focus energy on the new growth. Similar to when we're grafting. Two and a half answers for this one. Chop all the nodes off bar one or two. Energy and fuel definitely focused and pumping into the remaining nodes, which could provide some time and speed benefits in the short term. Quite probably up and over the trellis quicker too. But at the same time, cutting dozens of chunks out of your plant, like this one here, leaves dozens of open wounds and potential avenues for infection. Not ideal. And to top it off, if you don't cut perfect wedges and it's a little flatter towards the bottom, as the flesh dries, it becomes little catchment reservoirs for water droplets, leading to more chance of rot. Furthermore, let's say things go to plan. You get some growth and no issues in the wounds. If you have issues with the growth and you lose it, the unchopped nodes are the only avenues for that new growth and you could be left high and dry. So next second, you could essentially just have a really neatly carved nodeless, growthless stump. Yay. So you might get a bit of benefit from a cheeky hack or leaving some growth on there, but I find keeping it simple, whack your cutting in the soil, knock your side growth off and let one or two rip and tear up your trellis will set you up for success. Pretty simple stuff like me. And if you're a fan of simple, don't forget the simple task of clicking that like button as well as subscribing for all your dragon fruity goodness. Oh yes.